the next classification is sheet lamination or we can also call it as the laminated object manufacturing <music> So what is this? It is a relatively low cost prototyping technology where the thin slices of material usually it is usually coated paper, plastics or metal are successively glued together to form the 3D shape. So if you look at the process, see here, there are uh, the two rollers to control the supply of this paper with heat activated glue uh, to building platform okay so when new paper is in the position when the new paper is in the position it is flattened it is get flattened and added to the previously coated or created layer using this heated roller once the shape of the new layer is traced see once the shape of the new layer is traced and cut by the blade or see blade of this laser it's cut by this laser and when the new layer is completed the building platform this is a building platform you can see is going to descend and new paper is added or supplied okay so when the paper is in position the platform moves back up so the new layer is or new layer can be glued to the existing stack and the process is getting repeated again and again okay so this is the laminated object manufacturing or sheet lamination and the last classification we are having that is material extrusion so this technology can be viewed uh, or visualized as similar to the cake icing the material content in the reservoir is forced out through a nozzle when the pressure is applied. So, since the material is extruded, the additive manufacturing machine must be capable of scanning in horizontal plane and starting and stopping of the flow material while scanning. So, basically there are uh, two approaches in this process. One is used to or use the temperature as a way of controlling the material state and the other is using the chemical change to cause the solidification so in this chemical change uh, the curing agent the residual solvents the reaction with the air uh, simply drying of a wet material permits the bonding between these layers to occur okay so if you look at the basic principles definitely i will explain this diagram so please see basic principles so it is like a extrusion process so loading of the material the liquid liquefaction of the material the application of pressure to move the material through the nozzle then the extrusion process then plotting according to the predefined path in controlled manner then bonding of material to itself or a secondary build material to form the core and solid structure and the inclusion of support structure to enable the complex geometrical features these are the basic principles of this material extrusion so here see the slope to polymer are extruded or drawn through this heated nozzle see which is mounted at the tip or on the movable arm okay and we are supplying this hot filament or uh, filament material so nozzle moves here horizontally see this nozzle is moves he here in horizontal plane this xy okay while the bed is moving vertically bed is moving this is a blade or platform it's moving vertically allowing the melted material to build is allowing melted material to build layer after layer okay so the proper addition between the layers occurs through the precise temperature control or the 
as I told you, use the chemical bonding agent. So it is like the extrusion process and the name of this classification is material extrusion.